Hello, this is Curtis Retta Hayes with Sky Realty, and today I'm just going to offer a simple explanation on how to embed your IDX solution. Uh, this is one of the biggest misunderstandings that people have when they when they buy an IDX solution. Quite often, I'll see the IDX, the Search Homes feature, will link outside of the agent's website, and it'll have a skin that makes it look just like the agent's website but it'll actually resolve to a URL somewhere other than the primary domain where the person uh, found the search. And what I'm going to teach you here today is how to keep that from happening. So the first thing to look forward to look for is when you click on the search homes tab on your site, look at the URL. Is a consumer still in your website? Don't just look at the banner. Look at the URL. If the URL looks something like IDX, re.com and it has maybe your name dot idxre.com it might still look like your website but if it's not resolving to your address then it's not resolving to your web to your specific website it might look like your website but it's not and Google's gonna see that as traffic leaving your website people aren't staying on your website to do the primary function that they came there to do so what I'm gonna show you to how to do today is embed this search here into your website just like this. Now, WordPress has a feature or do, doesn't have a, a, a function that allows for uh, iframing very well. So there's a very simple plugin. And first of all, I want to thank Edna Stolick, uh for letting me use her website, ednastolik.com. And I want to thank Melidia Jones for showing me this plugin. She has 512 Homestore. Um, to embed an iframe, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your, your plugins. And you can simply click on Install Plugins. If you've had a developer or somebody else work on your website, this plugin may already be there. So you want to go to Install Plugins and look for Embed iframe. If you do not see Embed iframe, simply click Add New. Search for Embed iframe. Search Plugins and install it. If it's already installed, it'll say installed. Once this is installed, then you will be able to use, if you look over here on the right, you'll see this piece of code right here. It says iframe space URL space width space height, and then the bracket closes. This piece of code right here is actually what makes it easy for your website to carry an iframed object. So I'm going to demonstrate what that looks like right now. So once you go to your home search feature, you'll see that this is the actual search link. And you want to, in essence, paste a website inside your website so that people aren't leaving as they're searching for homes. So you'll go to the page where you want to embed your search. And if you look right here, you'll see I'm on the HTML tab, not the visual, but the HTML. And then I'm going to I'm gonna make this larger so you can see it better. And you'll see right here, here's that bracket iframe. Here's the actual link right here to the search. Here's the width of the search and here's the height of the search. So you simply paste that little piece of code from the iframe in here and then you paste the search function that you get from your IDX provider inside that. Now the reason for the width here and the height is so that it is um, works well with your website. And I'll demonstrate what this means. So on this website, the width is ideally 750. The height is ideally 2500 pixels tall. If I were to make this height 1500 pixels tall and I update this, what you're going to see on the actual page Once somebody does a search, as you'll see a scroll bar here. This scroll bar here means that somebody has to navigate up and down inside the IDX and also on the website. So they can scroll up and down here and scroll up and down here. That's not good. It doesn't give your site um, a nice fluid uh, form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit the page and in this case 
for iHomeFinder, quite often 2,500 pixels tall is ideal. So now I'm going to update. I'm going to view the page. I'm going to do a search. And the scroll bar is still there. So actually on this specific search, I'm going to need to um, give it another few pixels. Not a problem. I'll just go in here and I'll make it this in this instance, I'll make it 2600 pixels tall. So now I'll go back and view the page. Do a search. And you'll see now the scroll bar is gone. Now people can just simply roll up and down through the website without having to scroll on the page inside. As they look at properties on the website, it looks natural. It looks like it's actually part of the website. Now one of the things you're going to find when you have this is you're going to find um, quite often there's going to be an extra blank space down here. That's because the iframe is tall enough to handle where there's going to be more content um, such as a list of results like this. And you see there's not as much white space. That's just going to be part of it. That's in essence embedding a simple embed for an iframe. If you're using diverse solutions, diverse solutions comes with a script code so you won't need the embed iframe plugin for WordPress. Once again, it's embed iframe. Thanks. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them on the bottom of this video. And if you'd like me to do some videos on something particular, um, I do consider requests. Just please post a request on this video. I'll review it. And the next time I do a how-to video, I will consider those. Thanks and have a great day.